everyone. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make an Alka-Seltzer lava lamp. So what you're going to need for this is some vegetable oil, a half a cup of water, food coloring, some Alka-Seltzer tablets, and a bottle. So to get started, you're going to take your half cup of water and dye it with a primary or neon color. I already dyed mine, so it should look something like this, pretty dark. Next, you're gonna take your Alka-Seltzer tablets and break it up into two to three pieces. Um, this is what mine look like, already done. And the next thing that you're gonna do is fill up the bottle three-fourths of the way with vegetable oil. So now that you have all your materials ready, you're going to take your colored water and pour it into the bottle. Let that settle to the bottom before you start putting the Alka-Seltzer in. Okay, I think that's as good as mine's gonna get. You can't really see it at the bottom, but the water is sitting at the bottom. All right, now put your Alka-Seltzer tablets in and watch. If you can see, the bubbles are starting to go up to the top and fall to the bottom, creating kind of like a lava lamp, but instead of using heat, it's using Alka-Seltzer tablets. So the reason that this lava lamp works is because water and oil repel each other. Due to chemical properties, water and oil do not like to mix, and so they create separate layers, and with water being on the bottom since it's more dense. When you add Alka-Seltzer to the bottle, it comes to the bottom and reacts with the water. Carbon dioxide is a product of the Alka-Seltzer and water reacting. So the carbon dioxide wraps around the water and pulls it up, pulls it up to the surface so that it can release the carbon dioxide. Then the water bubbles fall back to the bottom because they're more dense than oil, then reform with the area of water at the bottom. You can add more Alka-Seltzer if you want to keep the reaction going. The Alka-Seltzer will wear off at some point and the carbon dioxide will be no more. If you want, you can just keep adding Alka-Seltzer to have your own little lava lamp. It's a great way to show how lava lamps kind of work, but instead of using heat to lift the material, we're using carbon dioxide. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, have a fun time with your experiments.